pre entity image and post entity image okay so what is pre entity image is um, in some cases for example we are updating the value of a record account or contact we are changing the value so after the update operation the values may change completely right so you don't get the values of the previous you don't get the values of the contact or account record previous yeah yeah so if you want to compare what the value change in some scenario for example um, we have given some uh, some kind of uh, moderation to a student so if 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 the students mark on some one sub, uh, sorry one particular subject was more than this one if you satisfy some kind of type of uh, condition what will do is we will give him moderation so what is moderation is just updating his values so that his mark got increase so what was his previous values even before the moderation is given so in some situation if you want to do any background verification or something like that once the updation is done then we cannot do anything we can go to these um, uh, auditing always and we can see it but at the code level we cannot do it so using the pre entity image what we can do is before we are doing any operation majorly update operation you can keep that values in a just similar to a context we can save that somewhere that is known as pre entity image then we can check after the update operation whether that value is there or not so this is how you will create a pre entity image okay <coughs> So we'll create entity image equal to context pre entity images of. This is how you will read it. So context will contain the pre entity images array. There you will give the target or the entity name where you get it. So let me see if we have a better sample for it. It is not explaining it properly. So it is showing whether we have for which all the operation or events pre and post uh, events are available or pre and post images are available. For create, we are doing it on pre, no pre image, but post image would be there. For create and the post, again we will we'll have post image. Update, we will have pre image on the pre. Update on the post, we will have both same goes for delete delete pre will have pre image post image will not have on the post will have pre image so this is i mean this is a little confusing basically for delete operation there won't be any post image for uh, create operation there won't be any pre image only for update operation we will have pre and post both available unnecessarily confusing I'm trying to see the code over here. So in fact, I had some code, but I don't have time to search for it. I have it in my mailbox. If I am not finding it here, I will show you that on the next class. I have the neat code for it.
yeah there it is okay so what do you basically do? this is this is how you will read it but the images you need to create using the plugin registration tool so now we have registered a plugin assembly plugin step right same way you need to register plugin image also okay so what you need to mention here is type you need to mention pre image or post image then you need to give pre account image some name so this is you don't need to worry about the alias this is the alias it is and now which all the parameters need to be come so you need to read all the uh, fields of the account for some of them right so some i mean if you want to compare only five fields you don't need to select all of them because it will be it will affect the performance so you need to select only those who need you don't select all of them right so these are the fields so now what the crm system will do it will create an image the moment the plugin will trigger right even before the core operation is done it will read these five values from the account so this is what i am creating for account only from the account and it will save somewhere there is some error on the plugin registration tool otherwise once you register what happened is that image will be added here for this plugin so now after that you can create a variable like this entity pre image it will be of type entity uh, only okay then we read it like this entity context from the context you can read it context dot pre entity images of whatever alias you have given there yeah so like yeah whatever alias you have given there that alias you give here and you can read it here so this is pre entity this is post entity so context dot pre entity images of the alias so you can create multiple pre entity images on each of the entities so it will be a collection pre entity images is a collection on that one you can give the name and pull it same way post entity images then in the operation you can give here this one pre image uh, sorry image contain new office status so this is nothing but the one of the field in your entity right if that is the case then you are doing some operation if post entity image contain new office status then you are doing some operation so the field name would be the same only the value differs so this will be the value before the operation has been done and this will be the value after the operation has been done got it so for example um the status of a uh, lead was open earlier okay and during the op op update operation one operation happened what will happen is the status change from open to qualified right so now the qualified uh, lead can be again open right again we can activate it so it will be again we can open from the open you can disqualify it then it will become disqualified then from the disqualifier you can again make it active then it will become open then you can qualify it so now there are certain steps like that in one example if you want to see from where the or mean where i qualified the lead from which status if, if i imagine you have active status open status qualified disqualified cancel multiple status are there from which status i cancelled my lead from which status in such a scenario how will you find it out if the opportunity status was cancelled and imagine i directly make it active then i can qualified it so now what is my update is in some operation what we'll do is we'll do two steps together that means from cancellation directly i will uh, change the status to qualified imagine such an example so how will i find out what was the status here earlier so in some scenario from which status to which status i made the value so i'll give you an another example if i got uh, five statuses here you got one status right zero two where you got zero eleven and i got 10 statuses like that 0 2 3 4 5 6 up to 11 total 10 statuses so now if i want to if i my updated status is 11 so from which status i came to 11 how will i find it out even during the execution if the status was 10 then i need to put some operation particular operation i need to put a percentage of 10 percentage if the status was 9 i suppose to put some uh, percentage of 8 percentage some that kind of a logic so now if someone is saying if the guy came from point 8 status 8 to status 11 then he should get 15 percentage 
I mean, uh, per, uh, what do you call uh, deduction or something like some kind of logic. So how will you identify from which status to which status you came? Once become once the status is updated, become eleven. You have no way to see from what was the previous status. It was eight, nine, ten, one. What uh, what was the one? You have no way to identify it. So what you do is even before we are making the update, we'll keep it in somewhere just like a variable. It's like a program where you will save it somewhere. For example, if it is came from seven, the previous status was seven. Now after the execution, the plus, uh, plugin change into eleven. Now there is a logic saying that if it is coming from seven to eleven, then this should be the, I mean, uh, just like you told in the moderation example, this should be the percentage given or this should be the mark given. So some that kind of logic is there. Then after the update, we have no way to identify which status I came from. In order to identify that, we need to keep the previous status in a variable, and we will compare the previous value with the new value. And there, if there is any logic on that one, then we can apply that.